name is Vincent. I've been homeless for three years. I'm now talking, I'm thank God I'm feeling better. This is a story of Vincent, homeless at 13 and originally from Nigeria. It's a story of how any young person can easily become homeless by no fault of their own and simply by being a victim of circumstance. Vincent's family moved from Nigeria to France in search of work. He came with his mother, his father and his little sister who was 12 years old at the time. Vincent was just 13. They moved from France to the UK, again in search of work. However, his parents had forgotten the vital papers they needed to put their children into high school. Also, a fight broke out between the parents. The mother moved back to France while the father went back to Africa to get the papers. This left Vincent and his little sister alone in a foreign land. The father fell out of touch, as did the mother, and so did his sister who started dating a drug dealer. Vincent, now left alone in a foreign land, without money or support, became homeless on the streets of Manchester. Vincent discovered there were three ways to make money on the streets, how to survive while being homeless. So how do you survive on the streets being homeless? A hustle, yeah. Still in fun, do you know what I mean? Vincent was forced to steal by his peers and also by his circumstances. Although he appreciated that it was wrong, he also needed to survive. The second way is by dealing drugs and the third way is by being a boom boom. In a very matter of fact way, can you tell us what a, a, a boom boom is? The boom boom is a beach but we don't call it that in that way, you know what I mean? We call it boom boom. So people don't know what it mean, but them they know what it mean, you know what I mean? So a boom boom is a name for a prostitute. Yeah. Normally male. Yeah, well. right, okay. um, and so do, do like a lot of young homeless men do sex work? Yeah, as well, they do as well, you know, because they have to survive, you know, you know what they need, you get me, to do what they mean. So you have to do what they're making money. So just to get started, this is like quite traumatic. So homeless young men who are, who are not gay, who are not homosexual, are forced to have sex with other men for money so they can survive. Yeah. So, was it the, the help of this charity that helped you escape being homeless? Yeah. And how did they help you escape? Did they get you, did they get you a home? They gave me a house, you know, and then, then we go to college. Fortunately for Vincent, a charity worker spotted him in the street one day With the vital help of charities like LifeShare in Manchester, young homeless are given accommodation and education. Now equipped with accommodation and education, Vincent can make a new start in his new life.